Okay, so I got a question right here. The negative 4.5 nano charge is placed, is moved, sorry, from a distance of 4 centimeter from x to a distance of 9 centimeter. Okay, calculate the work done on the negative 4 point nano charge. Okay, so Coulomb charge, you know, okay, so I can use the formula. We, I'm gonna tell you which formula we are gonna use right now to calculate work done we basically use this formula right v is equals to w by q we can get the work done on the charge which is basically the work done on negative 4.5 times 10 to power minus 9 we know that nano is basically 10, 10 to minus 9 right this is the formula that we can use to get the work done on a charge right so i basically don't have the value of v they did not give me the value of v so we have to calculate the value of v right so how we're going to calculate the value of v so i'm going to calculate the value which is v from v is equals to q times k right uh, basically by r right and why i'm using this formula because i need the electric potential which is this v due to a point charge right which is what is big why did you know why is the force acting you know the force acting basically the electric potential of the force acting on the pre the other charge right which was the charge seven times to the power minus nine right so seven times to the power minus nine you know this electric potential due to a point charge you know basically it was giving electric potential we're giving a force on this negative 4.5 nano charge right so basically we're gonna use this formula to calculate the work done now we have to calculate we there are two ways to basically do it i'm gonna do the first way over in this question and the second way on the other basically video right so let's basically find this first right so we need electric potential right so we're gonna use v is equals to okay we got v is equals to um seven times 10 to the power minus nine as i have discussed that we have to use this right uh charge right for the electric potential acting due to a point charge right so this is a point charge right so we got the charge over here we got the k value which is given at the end of your exam paper right which is 9 right and we have been given the radius as well right for it so which is 4 by 100 right okay so we get this electric potential as 1533.25 volt right this is for only the 4 cm. Now you have shifted from 4 cm to basically 9 cm, right? So we're going to do find out the uh, bit, basically the pot uh, electric potential of the 9th 9 cm, right? When it was in the 9 cm, right? So we're going to do the same thing right here as well. Just we're going to change the distance, right? So this is not 9 by 100 because it's centimeters so we have to convert it to meters right and minus 9 don't forget minus 9 i forgot to write minus 9 oh no sorry positive 9 my bad uh positive 9 okay so basically you get this value as 6293 by 9 right it is in recurring decimal so i wrote it in fraction right so that i can use it in later calculations right okay so now you uh, so i'm gonna just subtract them so i can know how much electric potential was when uh, when it moved from four to nine right so how much was the electric potential it took from moving from these two distance from four to nine right this was four centimeter to nine centimeter right so i'm gonna just subtract them so i'm getting five uh, 73.25 minus six two nine three right by nine right so I get this as, let me grab my calculator. So I get this as 573.25 minus 6293 by 9. 
right so i get this as 8, 8 874.0277 and it's a recurring right basically serving a recurring so i can write it as fraction as well so i can get like the more accurate value at the final stage right so basically now we have to calculate the w from this formula right so we have v which is 3 1 4 6 5 by 36 equals to we have to find w and we have the charge which is negative 4.5 right negative 4.5 times uh, 10 raised to power minus 9 right so you get your work then as basically times it 5 times 10 to power minus 9 which is basically 3.1465 times 10 to power minus 6 uh, no no my bad uh, sorry sorry it's 3.93 3, 1, 2, 5 times 10 raised to power minus 6, right? And it is work done, so it's joules, right? So we can down it off. As I can see from the question, it's given one decimal place, right? So I can do it, make it in one decimal place, which makes it 3.9 times 10 raised to power minus 6, right? So basically in joules, right? So basically this is your final answer, right? And this is the first method, basically. And yeah, basically you you are not uh, basically the negative sign is just indicating that the uh, basically our your work done is basically applied in the opposite direction because I ex I did four minus nine right so basically that's why I'm getting uh, you know a positive answer right here if I did my nine minus four so I would have got the value over here negative right. So then my basically value would have been positive, but right now it just indicates that it is basically in the opposite direction, right? My motion is basically this way, right? Right. Basically I'm minusing these two, right? Which is not normally right, but you can do it. But a minus sign is just going to affect your answer. You can just ignore it as well. Okay. So yeah.